let's see the uh, fourth problem of uh, week 10 python okay so this is your class this is the class name time and we are passing the uh, we are getting the attribute uh, time in integer type and these are the method the class contains so let's init okay init method we have and we are passing this time argument to this init class okay then we have another method seconds to minutes what it will do it will convert seconds to minutes okay and we need to return a string in this format okay so in this format means if we if we give a uh, time as 170 seconds it should return 2 minutes 50 seconds okay likewise seconds to hours if you uh, give uh, this many seconds it should return string as this hour this this is the minute this is the second it should return this string okay in this format okay this is the format hours uh, hours minutes minutes seconds value and second okay so for seconds two days also we should uh, return in this format like one day zero hour one minute zero second so let's see how it is how we can compute okay this values okay here you can see for well, let's take 170 seconds if you pass 170 seconds to this function what it should do we know that okay uh, one minute has 60 seconds so if you divide by 60 that 170 we get uh, 2.833 okay so if you convert to integer this value we will get 2 so this is our minute so 2 minute okay and if you mod this uh, 60 that is 170 mod 60 will give the remainder okay the remainder that remainder is 6 uh, 50 so this is going to be our seconds so this is clear so next for seconds to hours okay same technique okay so this is our seconds so when we divide by 60 we will get this value okay this value so when we convert to uh, integer these many minutes we have okay but th this 0. Point, okay, 0. 0.5 minutes we are missing so we need to provide that 0. 0.5 minutes in seconds okay so if you uh, mod okay mod this seconds with 60 we will get remainder as 30 because you know that 0. 0.5 means of of minutes of minute is remaining okay so of minutes means 30 seconds so how can we get 30 seconds when you uh, mod these seconds with 60 the remaining will come okay so 30 seconds and what we need to we need to calculate hours okay hours this many minutes we have so we know that uh, one hour is 60 minutes so when you divide by 60 we will get this okay so when you convert to integer we will get 3 so this is our hours 3 hours and we remaining have these hours no 0 0.166 so we need to uh, find this in minutes okay so for that we need to put mod 60 which will return a 1 so 1 is going to be the minute okay so we finally get 3 hour 1 minute 30 seconds okay 3 hour 1 minute 30 seconds so for days okay seconds 2 days this this is the uh, seconds they are giving so how we need to convert means okay we need to convert to seconds to minutes and minutes to hours and hours to days okay so this conversion divided by 60 mod by 6 this conversion also divided by 60 mod by 6 but this conversion because one day has 24 hours so divide by 24 mod by 24 okay here divide by 24 mod by 24 so let's start okay, when we divide this second by 60 we will get this this is nothing but our minutes okay this minutes okay then when we mod Okay, because when we mod only we will get the remaining 
remaining seconds okay apart from this constant minutes okay so as this is completing in a whole so we doesn't have any seconds remaining so our seconds is zero so this many minutes we have so we need to convert these minutes to hours so divide by 60 will give this so when we convert this to integer we get 24 hours okay 24 hours we get and these minutes are remaining so we need to express this uh, this remaining uh, hours in minutes okay so when you put uh, 1441 mod 60 it will give the remaining minutes so this is one minute we have okay then we have 24 hours so to compute this we need to divide by 24 if you divide by 24 we get one so this is going to be our days so one days then if they we need to find is there any remaining hours okay after this one day so if you put 24 mod 24 we will get zero so we having zero hours so you can see that one day one day zero hours zero hours one minute and zero seconds okay so this is what uh, we are going to compute so let's see the code okay let's type the code so let's clear it down so this is our uh, question so let's see what they are saying create a class time so let's create a class time class time done okay next init method we need to create and accept uh, yes uh, accept this variable okay time argument yeah oh let's create that init method so self we need to put for objects that we need to uh, accept one argument time it is nothing but seconds so what they are telling assign it to the corresponding attribute so the corresponding attribute we need to assign that is self dot time equal uh, time so our unit is completed so next we need to create one method okay against two uh, minutes so let's create that def equals against two minute so we should have self as usual so after that what we need to do we need to convert okay convert uh, minutes to seconds okay and we need to return in this string form so as i told how we uh, converted minutes to seconds seconds divide by 60 okay the quotient we get the the constant quotient okay the integer quotient we get will be the minutes so let's type the same so minutes minutes equal uh this this time no so so minutes equal uh self dot time why self dot time because we are not passing the uh, this parameter time because we have passed the parameter in constructor while creating constructor we have passed and it is saved in self dot time that is object dot time variable is saved so we can access only through self dot time okay this seconds so self dot time uh, divided by 60 okay divided by 60 that will return what that will return return this value okay but we need to convert it to integer so we can use maybe use float division or we can use here hint hint of this whatever we can use now we can use the float division okay so minutes we have computed okay seconds we need to compute so seconds how we computed here mod 60 will give the remaining seconds okay so seconds equal self dot time mod 60 okay this will give seconds okay we computed we need to return in this format is it correct 
in this format we need to uh, return where is that form in this format okay so how can we return see return using f okay using uh, this f command you can return that okay so curly braces you need to put minutes minutes here and min space you need to put space min space seconds okay seconds space sec okay all should be space should be correctly given and the wordings also should be uh, given correctly otherwise it will end up in error okay test case won't pass so each here should give space and uh, correct wording should be here because min sec okay same min sec so it's done so next function let's see that is seconds to hours okay seconds to hours we need to pass self likewise what we did here we need to do the same okay let's see so we have uh, we need to divide by 60 done mod by 60 will give the remaining seconds done then to compute hours these minutes these minutes okay this minutes value divided by 60 will give hours okay so we are going to do that hours equal minutes so division divided by 60 okay to compute the okay remaining minutes okay we compute this it will give 3 hours but this point uh, 0166 minutes so, so point 0.0166 hours is missing so we need to express this hour in minutes okay for that uh, you, if you mod by 60 we will get the remaining minutes okay so minutes equal minutes mod 60 okay it will return the remaining minutes to this minutes variable so at last we need to return in this format f colon so curly brace in curly braces hours we need to mention first hours what they have given format exactly hrs okay so space hrs next uh, minutes next space min next seconds so space sec then one single quote so it's done so let's see the next function seconds to days okay so def seconds to days we need to uh, pass the object so self so all things from here will continue as such okay because same thing only here also you can see date by 60 give minutes done mod 60 will give remaining seconds mod 60 done okay then minutes divided by 60 will give hours so minutes divided by 60 will give hours done then mod okay minutes mod 60 will give remaining minutes so minutes mod 60 give remaining minutes so what we still need to compute this so hours this is hours so hours divided by 24 will give number of days and hours the mod 24 give remaining hours so this equal hours divided by that is floor division by 60 give number of days and hours we need to put as mod 60 mod 60 will give remaining hours so finally we need to return in the given format okay so this how they have written this this only okay so this space hours is hrs then minutes minutes is min okay then 
seconds space sec okay then quotes so it's done let's check it out okay this is what you need this these things only you need to enter what i am going to type okay that the things just for uh, to check okay because in our real assignment this main method is uh, hidden so don't uh, write this what i am typing now okay so let's create the constructor let be t okay t equal what is our class name time okay so time we need to pass the seconds no so what they have given in question 170 seconds okay 170 seconds we are passing this is seconds so after that let's compute uh, seconds to minutes okay so print seconds sorry t dot because uh, true object only we can call that okay uh, seconds two minutes so let's see what printing execute python dot question dot p this is the command okay python code i am explaining and the file name okay this is the shell command see 2 minutes 50 seconds is it correct oh correct 2 minutes 50 seconds let's try this okay 10890 so let's change it to 10890 okay so this time uh, seconds to hours okay let's save and run it see 3 hours 1 minute 30 seconds is it correct 3 hours 1 minute 30 seconds wow it's also correct okay let's check another okay this one 86460 so 86460 so seconds to this okay let's save let's clear this off let's run it again see zero days okay one mistake i think okay what zero days 24 hours one minute zero seconds but what is it should come one day zero hours one minute zero seconds so there's some mistake in this uh hours to days conversion okay let's figure it out so here we got our hours we are okay doing so let's why why it's not printing uh think forever yeah think yeah blender mistake we have done i told you to convert hours to uh days means we need to divide by 24 okay because 24 hours make a day so here also 24 here also 24 if you save and run again it should come see one day zero hours one minute zero seconds okay you can see one day zero hours one minute zero seconds so our code is working fine the which you need to uh, wrote there is only this part okay class only you need to type so that's it yeah thank you